when you've got nothing on the body to eat, and that's when you get into starvation. And starvation is not good. Starvation, I do not recommend. Starvation is very different to fasting. Starvation when there's no body fat at all. No stored fuel. Yeah. So pretty much the only two cases I've seen are when there's some kind of mental illness or mental imbalance, like if people are severely depressed, if they've got high anxiety, that kind of thing. So anyone who, who's really wound up, I, I wouldn't recommend fasting, particularly not water fasting, because then they'll, it might exacerbate it even more, make them lightheaded and worried. So you've got to be appropriate, you know. Um, so I then generally tend to work with those people and get them well first, and then we introduce fasting over time. So people in that condition can get into fasting over time, but generally it's then secondary or third. The first thing is to get them well with food first. So if you're making a smoothie as well, which is another thing for some people where fasting's not appropriate, which is very few, but for those that are not appropriate, you can just do a day on smoothies. So make a smoothie in the morning and have smoothie for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really, really simple. And when I say smoothie, I mean half of it is leafy greens. Right? I don't mean half of it being coconut, milk, water, or, or whatever. I'm talking leafy greens, you know. When I used to make a smoothie for the kids after school, I would get a blender, I would get as many leafy greens as I could, and like yourself, whatever was in the garden, pound them in, right, until they're really pushed down hard into the big industrial blender, you know. Then I'd put an apple, peel a lemon and a lime, and fill it up with water, and just, and that was it. And the lemon and the lime and the apple would flavour away the greens.